Hey everyone, as you can see in the background here, I have F1 2018 in the PlayStation 4 playing. Uh, this came out a few months ago, but I only picked it up a few days ago. I've tested it a few times just to see how it plays, but I'm going to play it in full this week. I'm going to have a driving night with my friends. And, you know, in addition to all the driving games I've got here, you can see that I've got a chair. This is the Play Seat Challenge. Uh, this is a fantastic chair. One of the downsides to this is that there's no position for the gear shifts. So that's something I want to talk about in this video. Um, I want to explain why this is a problem and then I want to jump up to the computer and then just show you some of the different options that you've got. Um, but you can see there I've got F1 2018 playing and I'm not just saying this because I've got a driving chair but once you have purchased a driving chair you cannot go back to using a game controller. You just can't do it. The experience is so much better. A driving chair and a driving wheel is absolutely fantastic. And at the time it felt a little bit of a splurge. You know, I paid like 150 pounds for the driving wheel and the clutch and accelerator and all that. And I paid like another 150 pounds for the chair. Around that, I think it got a little bit cheaper. Uh, this chair is fantastic because, um, you know, it folds up and you can you know, tuck it away. That's why it's so popular. Uh, and as I said, it did feel like a little bit of a splurge at the time spending so much money, but it's proved to be a fantastic investment. I don't tend to play it myself, you know, alone too much. Generally what I do is we have kind of racing nights. Uh, I've had several racing nights this year when all my friends come around and, and we take turns going out to the, uh, you know, sitting in the seat and driving. It's, it's absolutely fantastic and I love it. But as I said, this chair doesn't have any options for a gear shift. So... I'll show you that now. So you can see here, this is the chair. And I did a field review of this a year ago. I showed you the installation, how, it, how it's all set up. And um, you can see some of my driving games down there. I've got all, most of the popular ones. Project Cars 2, Seto Corsa, Gran Turismo, F1 2018. Um, I've downloaded a couple of rally games, Dirt Rally, the World Racing Championships, and I've got Drive Club and all that as well. There's a few other games I'm going to buy. Um, as far as it... You know, it doesn't look as good as other driving chairs out there. It just kind of looks like a, a deck chair. But when you're actually sitting in this, this chair is fantastic. But as I have said many times, one of the downsides is that it doesn't have any wear, any position to put this gear shift. Now, for a game like F1 2018, the game that's playing in the background, that isn't really a problem because you've got these gear shifts in the background here and they work fantastic. And for a lot of games such as Gran Turismo Project Cars, those gear shifts work well. But for a rally game, you really do want to use the gears. You want to shift up and down the gears. And that is an area where this uh, chair fails. There's no position up there to put any uh, shifts, you know, any gear shifter. You can put the gears there and there's nowhere at the side. So that's what I want to explore in this video. Now, there is an official option from uh, PlaySeat, the people that make this chair, there is an option for that, and they sell a PlaySeat gear support. It's about 25 pounds right now, around that in the UK, 30 euros or so, and it really is just a metal bar, just a metal bar. Um, now, what that does is it, it places it down here, so if I show you, what they do is they give you like a, it's basically a long bar with like three holes on it, and you put it here, I believe it's here, and it goes on to the side, and then you can set your gears on it. Now, the problem with that, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of negative reviews about it, the fact that it's you know 25 pounds for just one small piece of metal. One of the downsides to it is that it's kind of designed to go on the right hand side. Me being from the UK, I'm used to my gears being on the left hand side. But not just that, I think this position down here, next to the steering wheel, is too high. You don't want to be reaching up for your gears, you want the gears down low, just as they would be in your own car. So what a lot of people do is change it and, and they design something themselves. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. You can do clamps and, you know, I've looked at all these different options to do it myself. But at this point, what I'd like to do is jump up upstairs and go to my browser and I'll show you some of the options that are out there. There's a lot of people that have done mods. There's a lot of people that have, um, you know, kind of created their own solution for this. I wanted to find a solution to this a year ago and I just kind of put it to the side and I didn't do it. But I want to get back into the driving. I'm looking at a lot of different ways to improve the setup. 
and I think it'd be good to get the gears sorted. So let's jump, let's jump up to the browser just now and we'll see how I can make this set up a little bit better and get these damn gears somewhere on the left hand side down here. So I'm upstairs now using my webcam and this microphone should hopefully give better audio as well. What I've done is set up my browser with a lot of different tabs and I'll quickly show you the official Gearshift support for the PlaySeat Challenge. Uh, but what I've also done is set up a lot of different tabs with variations that you can do and show you a lot of custom uh, setups that people have created. Now, before I go on, I just have to say that I don't think there is a perfect setup for the Play Seat Challenge because there isn't really a good official setup for the gears for your, your shifter, as they call it in the USA, then you've seen everyone create these custom setups and it really does depend on what you want to do. Some people prefer the gears down low, some people prefer it high. Some people have created some really strange but weird and wonderful setups and, and, and solutions to this problem. So if I jump back over to my browser, this is the official PlaySeat website, playseat.com, and I'm on the store, I'm on the accessories page. Now, I just wanna quickly show you this because you will see things like this, the Gearshift Holder Pro, and it is worth noting that this isn't for the PlaySeat challenge, this is for a different chairs, a, a, a different set of chairs. Um, so you'll see a lot of different solutions like that. You've got the seat slider, um, there's a brake pedal thing and things like that. Now, what we want to look at here is this, the G27 gear shift support. Now, again, I will be talking mostly here about the, the Logitech G29, the G27, but a lot of the solutions you're going to see will work with other uh, steering wheels. Now, if I click on here, you will see what I was talking about. Um, it's just a very basic metal bar. Um, that's come up in a pop-up. Um, it's just a basic metal bar and it, there really isn't too much to it. Now you can see that it's 29 euros. Um, there's another website here. Um, it's called the Playseat Gearshift Support and it's, you know, it's the same thing here, 25 pounds. But this website, be aware, this isn't the official website. They've got official Playseat dealer. So it's not the official website, just be aware of that. Um, but if you look closely at this, you can see what the official one is. What you get when you pay 25 pounds, 29 euros, what you get is this little metal bar and it just goes to uh, the, the the stand for the play seat challenge. Now, it's kind of designed to go on the right hand side. So if you're, you know, driving on the right hand side of the roads, most of Europe, America, etc. then maybe this is a solution you want to go for. You can put your gears up there. But even if I was in a country where the steering wheel was on the right hand side, uh, on the left hand side and not the right hand side, then I'd probably still not use this solution. I did consider it, but for me, the gears look a little bit too high for me. I want the gears to be down low because that's where I'm used to them on my own car. Um, but you can see, you know, if you just want a simple solution, you want something that works, then use this. But um, be aware, um, you know, if you look at some of the reviews here on Amazon and you look at some of the one star and two star reviews, no instructions does not does not fit play seat challenge. No instructions. Now it does work with the play seat challenge, um, but a lot of people have said that it doesn't work well um, on the left hand side if you're putting it for the UK uh, kind of driving side. Um, a lot of people say that it's overpriced as well because it is just a a little metal bar. But that's the official option. It's there if you want it, and if you don't mind the gears being high maybe this is something that will suit you. And there are some people that are really happy with this solution, so please do check it out. Now, what you can do is search for something online. And, you know, I've, I've searched every possible um, solution out there. Uh, search for something like PlaySeat Challenge Gear Mod or Shifter Mod or something like that. You'll get a lot of different variations, a lot of different pages pop up. Um, there's a lot of videos out there as well, so check out the videos. It's maybe a little bit easier to see what's happening in some of the videos as well. Um, but if you do a search on Google or any search engine, you'll see a lot of different solutions. So I've got a, a small selection of different options here to kind of paint the picture of what you can do here. Um, this person here, this is for the TH8A. This isn't for the Logitech steering wheel, but you can see they've used a, a U bracket and then they've got an angle bracket. And Oh, I'm not a member of this website, so I can't show you, but you can see from the pictures down the side here what's happening. You can sign up to the website if you do want to see those pictures in more detail. Um, play see a challenge shifter mount. Now, this website, gtplanet.net, you'll see a lot of discussions on this 
website. And I will leave a link to all these pages so that you can check them out yourself. If there's any particular page that you want to look at. The, the Place Eat Challenge Shift Amount page here on GT Planet, there's a lot of pages and a lot of discussions about this. And you'll see, again, you'll see lots of different ways of, you know, creating this solution. Um, this person here, for example, they went for um, a drum rack, a drum rack clamp. Now, apparently, the drum rack uh, clamp is, is is basically the, the the clamp is the same size. It will work with the play seat challenge because the tube is apparently the same size as what you'll find on a drum kit. So you can use something like this, um, like that. You also find other kind of clamps that work ones that work, uh, you know, clamps for the bathroom. And you'll see a lot of people using ram mounts as well. Now, ram mounts are used for uh, with motorbikes, but the ram mounts, they're very secure, they work really well, but they tend to be quite expensive as well, which has kind of put me off going down that route. But uh, you can see here, if you get a, a drum clamp, we clamp on like this, and it clamps to the side of the pole. And then from here, what you'd want to do is again, find a bracket like this, something like that, to attach it. So you'll see lots of solutions there. Um, and look at this one. Now, this is another uh, variation as well. Now, this is kind of a variation of the official setup in a way. Because what they've done here, this guy's just put like a, a large, um, I was going to say a table, but it's, you know, just a large sheet of metal. And at the right hand side, he's put his, um, he's put his shifter there, his gears. Now that would work, you could put that on either side, but essentially all he's done is just put a, a sheet of metal on, you know, between the wheel and uh, the steering wheel and uh, the clamp of the seat, the actual stand here. And it looks really well. Again, this isn't the solution that I was looking for because I feel that the gears are a little bit high, but if you don't mind the gears being high, this is perhaps something that you want to look into. Very cheap solution. You may be able to pick up, a, a, you know, a, a piece of metal like that for five ten bucks it's not going to break the bank it looks like a very easy solution you're not messing around with drilling or anything like that it looks like he's just positioned the, um, the, the this piece of metal here just between the steering wheel and uh, the base here of the play seat challenge so that's another option um you'll see a, well you can see this guy's kind of custom made it here um you'll see a lot of different solutions here on this uh, thread um this guy here by the looks of it is set up his own gear shift as well so uh, his own handbrake sorry so there's a lot of people that have set up handbrakes as well. This isn't something I've done. I'm playing on the PlayStation 4. I believe you can set up a solution for a handbrake. There are some USB handbrakes I believe do work. Um, but this one, um, again, you can see like it's like a, a side bracket here, but he's also got a little table coming out to the side here, a little bit of wood. Um, this is the kind of low position that I'm going after. Um, this one actually looks quite complex when you see it. The guy's obviously spent a lot of time working that out. So I'll leave a link to that thread. There's a lot of good information on there and on that discussion forum in general. Um, now this one here, when I was talking about the um, kind of clamps for the bathroom and, and, and like plumbing, etc. This person here set up a uh, two 22 millimeter Zamac braces neck or necklaces um, with screw threads in the head. Says cost him less than two euros. So he's bought like a little sheet of metal there. He's got the, the clamps, 22 millimeters is what you need for the diameter. And you can see he's put them in here, two holes at the top here, and then he's put the bracket on like that. That is the type of solution that I have been kind of swaying towards. I think this is a very simple solution where you just get a clamp and either an angle bracket or a straight piece of metal like that. And look at that, very, very simple. Now, what I like about this kind of solution as well is if you design it well, when you close up the play seat challenge chair, it should not get in the way of the chair folding up. So you can still fold up the chair and put it, you know, wherever you're putting it. I put it at the side of my living room. Um, it's a very cheap solution as well, probably about 10, 15 euros in total, 10, 15 dollars, pounds, whatever. Uh, it's a very simple solution, but you can see there as well, it works well. Um, looking at the comments of a lot of people that have actually looked at this solution, what they have uh, said is that you need to kind of tighten it up. So a lot of people are they're putting felt or tape or something underneath the clamps so that they don't hurt the piping. Um, that's optional. But really what you ha have to make sure is that when you're moving the gears around, you aren't, you know, moving around with it. So you have to make sure it's secure enough that when you shift gear, you're not moving it around because obviously that was that's going to uh, hurt your driving experience and 
potentially it could hurt uh, the actual design of the play seat challenge. It could actually hurt the tubing. But that's definitely one of the better options in my opinion. I think it's a very simple solution, um, but it's also perhaps one of the most practical. Um, how to mount a shifter on a play seat challenge? I think, um, yeah. Is this which one does this take to? Right, so this is, have I got this one here? I think I've got this one up here already. I do, so I can close that. So this, again, is one of the most popular solutions, and for me, I can see that this one works on the left-hand side. Now, the good one, uh, the good thing about this page is that the guy actually gives details about the parts that he bought and links directly to the clamps that he bought, which is quite useful. So you can see here, if you look down here, he's got two clamps down here, two 22 millimeter clamps, but he's also got like an angle bracket. So you can see, you can either do it, the way that that one had it, um, that one is positioned up the way so that the bracket goes to the right hand side. But you'll see a lot of people going with the angle bracket, so they've got a kind of L-shaped bracket like that. Um, there's closer, you can see the clamps, and then he's got the angle bracket in, and then he's got it um, positioned like that. So he's added two nuts between the mounts and the bracket to give a bit of clearance. Now underneath here, he gives a description of uh, as to what he did. Now, I think this is a really good solution. I think the guys did really well here. It looks fantastic. Um, that, that isn't the Logitech shifter. He's got a, a different one. I think that's the Thrustmaster one. Now, he's got, an exp he's got a full explanation at the bottom, which is really good because a lot of people are uploading videos and um, images and they're not giving any details as to what parts they bought. So, kudos to the guy that did this. Um, now, he's linked to... This this is what this is the clamps that he used. Now, if I scroll down here, this is basically the same one. Now, I was ready to buy this the other day, and I'll talk about this in a second. But I was ready to buy this the other day, and then buy it in conjunction with an L bracket. You can see he's got a twenty-two millimeter um, diameter for the clamp, and then there's a, a ten millimeter thread. Um, so you would need to use that with an L bracket or something like that. But that looks like a very good solution, quite similar to the other one that I showed you there. Um, that one, but it's just a kind of a different variation of it. it looks like it's very secure, um, looks very professional. So then we've got this guy. Now this guy is actually designed a 3D printable uh, Logitech shifter mount for the PlaySeat Challenge. Now he's, uh, he says it's for the Logitech shifter mount. I believe this will work for other ones, but he's, he's the reason he says Logitech is because he's designed, he's created the, the holes for it. He's put the holes in it as well. If you have a 3D printer or someone who who does have one, then check out this one. You can see there's a link here which takes you to the page and you can download the instructions for this. And, and you can see there, that there's how it works in practice. It looks really, really good. That's how it works with the shifter there. And he's got it that you can down, you can see there's got a few different variations. He's got the shifter mount for mounting on the right hand side, uh, the clamp, uh, for the right hand side, then he's got the shift amount for the left hand side and the clamp for the left hand side. So this guy has created uh, a solution, a, a printable plastic solution, which can be used on the right hand side or left hand side. So yeah, fair play to the guy. He's designed this, he's saved it for both sides and he's made it real available to everyone. So if you've got a 3D printer or access to one, this is perhaps one way to do it. Unfortunately, I don't think this guy is actually selling it. Um, but it may give you an idea as to what he's done there. He's clamped on two pieces of plastic to go round um, the tubing. So this is another um, example. This is kind of a variation of this one and this one. Kind of same idea here. Um, what he's done is positioned it here. He's done went for the left-hand side, the UK side. And you can see he's got two clamps and then he's got a bracket and he's put the shifter at the side. This is the shifter or the gears. I keep calling it shifter because that's what the, the the people in America call it. But, you know, that, that's where he's got the gears there at the left-hand side. That's kind of the setup I was aiming for. And, yeah, it's just another variation of what it was before. You can put the low down on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. So that's another option. Um, and finally, we've got another option here. Um, this guy's gone for the L bracket. And, again, another variation. You can see he's got the clamps here going round the poles, and then he's got the L bracket, and there it's there. Really good description, really good explanation as to what he's done here, how he's got it. You can see the screws going here on here, and then he's got the bracket going into the thread at the side. Now, these clamps look very similar to this here, um, as to, you know, the way it's designed. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. 
But at the end, you can see it there. That's how it will be set up. And you can see he's put on like some, um, I don't know if that's just like a bin bag or something like that. He's put it around there to protect the tube. So there's a lot of variations of that. Um, if you look at the different solutions out there, you've got the official solution, which is that. Um, and you'll have that other variation of it, which was, where was it? Was it down here? I think it was down at the bottom of this page. Um, so yeah, you've got that. And then I would say this is a variation of the official solution where you put it up high and you attach it to the, the, the base of where the steering wheel goes on the play seat challenge. So that's, you know, if you want to go high, that's your options. You could put something like that there or you could go for the official solution. But I would say that most people are, what they're trying to do, if you look at most uh, users of the play seat challenge, most racing fans, what they're trying to do is position it down low. They want the gears down low where it would be in a car. Now, this takes to be takes me to where I am just now. What I had done uh, was go to Amazon and I put this into my shopping basket. I was ready to buy it. And then I had a look at lots of different brackets. Now, the problem that I had, firstly, I'm not the most, you know, I'm not the best at DIY, if I'm honest, but I found that and then I found some angle brackets. Now, the problem that I had was all the angle brackets, the holes looked to be a slightly different size uh, than the clamp at 10 millimeters. Now I found some, but then I couldn't find the screws. So in total, if I found the parts that I needed, I was going to be about 15, 20 pounds. So I was looking at 15, 20 pounds to get the solution that I wanted. Kind of a variation of what I was looking at there, where it was the clamp and then an angle bracket and then some, you know, screws to put it all in. Clamp, angle bracket, screws. That's what I was looking at. But in my journey to find that solution, I came across this. This is a, a seller on eBay, Maraimo. He's based in Italy. And can I get this up? No, it's not showing you. Uh, I'll maybe zoom in the page. Okay, so maybe see that a little bit better now. So he's, he's you know, created a solution like that anyway. Um, and there it is with the, um, with the gear shifts that I'm going to be using. Now, in the description area, he says that it works on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. That's it on the left-hand side. And he's got like a Ferrari icon symbol thing, a BMD, BMW, Mercedes. He said to me, I contacted him, he said he had a BMW, Mercedes, a BMW and Ferrari. And then when I bought it, he said it was a Mercedes, but I asked for Ferrari. So I've opted for this one. Um, and it's a very simple solution. Now, in UK pounds, it's working out about 44 euros, or in UK pounds, it's about 40 pounds. Um, and in, in the description area down here, you can see it in, in English. Um, if I scroll back here. Um, new version, I realize in sale the kit in wood, wood materials, black, horizontal base with carbon look, vertical base, one sticker, customized logo for the Logitech gearbox. So this one is designed for the Logitech G29 or G27. Um, I think it would maybe work with some other shifters, but you'd have to check that yourself. So I provide everything you need for a perfect double attachment fix, uh, fixing, so stable and without movement. Without movement, I'm reading the, the Italian translation there. Um, simple to assemble and, and you don't need to drill anything, you don't have to do anything. So you really just buy this and you attach it. Um, and that is the solution that I've decided to opt for. Is it the best solution? Well, time will tell. So I hope you enjoyed that look at the different options that are available for improving the play seat challenge here and adding the gears to this setup. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but as I said, you've got the official option, which I think is a little bit expensive for what you get, but you can add a base here if you, do, if you want to go high. As you saw there, I went for the low option. I went for placing the gears down there and I kind of took the lazy route. I had looked at the clamps and getting a bracket and all that. My concern was that I was going to buy the clamp and the bracket and the screws, but I just couldn't seem to get the right configuration. And my concern was that I was going to spend about 20 pounds or so, and then I would have to return it or maybe you know have to go buy some more equipment to get it right. I wasn't sure if I could get all the right parts and get it, uh, get it working correctly. As I said, I'm not a DIY guy. So when I saw the option that was 40 pounds, I took the lazy option and I opted for it. The guy's got a lot of positive reviews, so when I get it in a week or so, hopefully it does work. 
as well as I'm hoping that it will work. Um, but I'll do, be sure to do a video for you guys and show you what it's like in practice. I'll do a dedicated review where I you know, show you me actually installing it and seeing how well it works. But again, the idea is if you wanted to go down low, most people what they're doing is getting a clamp and just bring it down here. They're getting a clamp and assuming that you're in the UK in the left hand side, they're going to clamp it to either here or here. You'll get the two different clamps, like the, the Zamac 22mm clamps that you get for a drum kit or for plumbing or whatever it may be. Clamp onto there, get an angle bracket up there and then your, your shifter can sit low down. And this is the kind of position that most people are looking for because that's where, you, where the gears are actually are in a car. Now you can see in the background here, I've got Dirt Rally. And as I said, if you're playing a Formula One game, then you're probably going to use the paddle shifters here, like that. Uh, and as far as playing games go, paddle shifters are great. They're a lot of fun, they're easier to use and all that. But I think for a rally game like that, you really do want to use gears. And I've got a gear shifter. I just didn't have anywhere to actually put the gears. So buying some rally games, getting back into the driving, it's encouraged me to actually find a solution to this. I'm a year late, I've had this chair for a year and I didn't find a solution to it. But hopefully in a week or so, I will have a solution. Hopefully it's a good one, hopefully it's secure. And I think it's going to make these rally games much more enjoyable. And not only just that rally game, you know, in Gran Turismo, there's a lot of like um, smaller cars and, and in Drive Club where there's like smaller minis and uh, Volkswagen Golfs and things that way you can use the gears to drive instead of using the paddle shifts. So I know that I've not given a kind of detailed tutorial in this video because I've not got a solution myself. But hopefully looking at the, the browser upstairs, looking at all the different solutions out there, um, there's a lot more out there, but hopefully I've given you a, a, at least um, some sort of encouragement to go out there and find a solution for yourself. As you, as you can see, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but when you actually look closely at them all, they're all kind of a variation of the same thing. So best of luck guys, and to all my fellow drivers out there, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've did something different and you've got a tutorial or you've got a video about it online, please do leave a comment below and describe how you've done it and even link to your video or your website where you've detailed it and hopefully it will help other people. But stay tuned, I will show what that, what that custom solution was that I bought. I'll, I'll show what it's like in practice and hopefully it's quite good. So thanks for watching guys, please do leave a comment and I'll speak to you all very soon. Cheers guys.